The plan is to go to war with Lisbon as early as possible. I need to do a lot of things before we can do that though. Now one thing I'm not considering is in Civ 6, a new big focus is the Casus Belli system. Using the right declaration of war so that you don't receive a huge warmongering penalty. And I do think that the world might be kind of okay. I mean, it, it's kind of, this is kind of a weird scenario because we've got America on the same continent with a war, with a city state that I'm planning on destroying. So he might definitely hate our freaking guts. That is very likely. He did give us an apple pie, so I'm good about that. I got my apple pie so I can say, screw our relationship. I got what I wanted. Anyways, so I actually am feeling like it's not going to make, uh, see, it might make Greece mad. And, and what's going to be interesting is if England is going to dislike it. Now, we can look into our relationship, me and Teddy Roosevelt's relationship, kind of a weird, creepy way, and uh, and look at, you know, kind of exactly what's going down. Um, I wish this was like a little bit, I, I don't know, I, I wish this was a separate window over here. I think this is kind of too hidden, I suppose. Um, but anyways, this, this is not going to show us anything because it's way too early in the game. But I'm going to want to look at, you know, what's happening inside of all of these relationship windows with everybody else, with Greece and with Victoria, who did accept our delegation. So, you know, we kind of have a friend somewhat. So I don't know where she's at, but you know, it's all good. So anyways, my capital is off to a very fast start. It's growing fast. It's got some production, which is nice. Oh, geez. Okay. So another, wait a second. I don't think you can come this way. I think that they're kind of hidden inside of the, uh, the mountain. This is actually a very good defensive location. They've got cliffs on the outside of them to the east and a big mountain to the west. If I was a barbarian, that's where I'd like to live. We've sent you, okay, so your delegation is most welcome. Love this line, large wooden horse is not involved, which is good, it's very good. Keep those large wooden horses out of my Troy city. I don't know. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes my, my, my jokes are so, so bad. I just, just wanna give up on life. So we've got Wales over here. Again, I'm looking to settle more coastal cities. And actually, this is a really good possibility. Instead of settling my second city around this way, because I want a coastal city for my second city of the empire. So maybe going around Lisbon isn't a bad idea. That way we surround it, making it a lot easier to launch an invasion, not having to, to prep as much. Still a lot of preparation would be needed, but you know. But we'll see. Okay, so let's, I guess, let's go down here and kind of figure out what, what Athens is doing. Athens at three population. Washington at four. Are you in the tundra, Washington? No, it doesn't look like it. He does look like he's in the plains. Okay. He's kind of aggressive, but bully for me. Sounds, uh, that, that little punching formation thingy that he did was a little bit of aggressive. A little aggressive for my taste, so... A little bit worried about that. I'm gonna go up on this hill so I get more visibility as well. It's gonna be it's gonna help us defensively. Nice. So here's a ruin. So fish and whales, stone, deer. Eh, it's an it's okay. It's an okay location. Let's go pottery next. Uh, and we want to rush an encampment. Although that we don't need it. We definitely don't need an encampment er that early. Is what I'm saying. Like eventually we need it, but we don't need it super early. We should probably get a slinger out. So that we can kill somebody. I don't think it's. I think it's going to take too much lot time. There's no way we're going to build the slinger, then build. Yeah, I don't think so. Hey, we got a pantheon. That's kind of cool. I don't even know where I'm getting this faith from. Well, yeah, I'm getting it from the city. Well, whatever. Okay. So, what do you want to do? I think for my pantheon, I should probably just pick something that is non-religious, just something to help us out. Uh, plus amenities to cities if they have a holy site district. Uh, I don't want to do that because I don't want to build holy sites. I'd rather not. Um, plus one great person from... No, no holy sites. Production from fishing boats. That might be kind of good. Um, marsh, oasis, floodplains. Nah, I think I might go with the fishing boats one. If we do plan to have a lot... Of, I mean, I'm not going to have a lot of... I don't want to be like a complete naval sieve. That doesn't make much sense. But it would be nice. Production for from mines over strategic resources. I mean, that's kind of good, but we don't know how many strategic resources will be around us, so that would be a risk to take. Culture for bananas, citrus, cotton. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. City growth rate at 10% higher. I kind of like that. Um, I went with this as my American campaign, and it did not go as well as I thought. It really didn't. I was 
betting on the fact that that was going to be amazing. Uh, you know what? We will. We'll go God of Sea. That's a, that's something. That's a bonus that we'll get pretty much throughout the game. I think that's a good. This was a good pantheon to get in Civ Five too. Depending on, of course, your situation. But yeah, let's do it. Found this pantheon. Cool. Okay, we've got that boosted because we found it a pantheon. Uh, we need a builder next. You want us to build a, build a boat. Now, there's no point in me building a boat. If if Lisbon was coastal, that would have been great, but it's not. So let's go with the builder first. Unless, of course, now wait a second. Before I do that, can I purchase anything? Okay, well, there we go. I can purchase a slinger. Bam, slingers are only 90 bucks? So if I kill somebody with this slinger in the next four turns, we're going to get uh, archery boosted. I might want to do that. might want to go after some of those those evil barbarians nearby. I'm going to need some support for my warrior unit, though. That's the only thing. Alright, so we need to go after those ruins. I can't forget about that. I always forget that they're... I always forget ruin... Hey, I don't be doing that. Of trade, I, I swear, if Washington steals those ruins before I do... So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to start to hit this warrior. And then we're going to bring my slinger up to hopefully get the kill. If we can shave off turns from archery, that would be amazing. Craftsmanship. We're not going to improve three tiles yet, but we will. So we might as well skip that. Grow your civilization to at least six population. We don't want to do... Ah, uh, we don't want to do these three. These two on the outside, because it's not going to help us get to political philosophy any faster. Uh, I really shouldn't. And we can wait on this. We're just going to go with early empire. Ask for open borders. Yeah, let's do that. And then we'll we'll boost the other ones. Yeah, because I I need I need I need the government, especially as Germany. We need to go after the the government as quickly as possible. Okay, here's England. Good to know. I would like to see if she started coastal. That's kind of important there. A little bit. Have we grown yet? I don't like that there's not really a big notification to tell you your city has, cities has grown. Hopefully that's like something... Like I understand you wouldn't need that for Prince difficulty, but hopefully playing on higher levels of, of difficulty, that would be better. Okay, so I'm going to fight you, and then I'm actually going to let you go. Because I hope we can get the kill someplace else like maybe I'll just sit there and heal so I'm assuming this has got well I can go through your borders right now yeah it's of course it's coastal of course it's England Drew come on duh wake up man you gotta wake yourself up okay so Alex uh, Alexander I am going to I have been doing that a lot so far is saying the former leaders names not the new leaders names okay so I'm gonna come right here and then we can heal we're calling Greece Alexander, uh, England Elizabeth. It's going to be tough. Okay, so let's go up and around, and I guess we'll meet our scouts together. I think we did find some tundra down here. Yeah, so that's the bottom the bottom part. Ooh. Uh, that kind of sucks. Why are we doing so much damage? Oh, plus five advantage versus barbarians. That's right. Okay, well, we're going to get our kill. I don't know if it's going to be in one turn, though. Let's go ahead and see what's going on in here. What you got? What you got? Uh, Pericles, that's right. Sorry. I just I gotta get their names down. Gotta get them. Luckily, Greece looks like they'll be dealing with a lot of barbarians. Like I've said, you know, barbarians tend to be like rabbits inside of, tun inside of the tundra. Because no one goes down there and no one settles down there. So they're always popping up in that area. Where'd you go? Ooh, okay, well, at least I'll be able to get the ruin. Nice. Knowledge of masonry has advanced. Maybe we'll go after that next. Our barons approach from where? Oh, that's kind of a problem. Uh, we got boost. We Yeah, we boosted masonry, so let's go after that. Because we're going to boost archery soon enough. Oh, actually, irrigation might be good. Oh, we don't have anything. Yeah, we don't need irrigation. So ne never mind. No, that's, there's no point in going for that. Nope, sorry. Let's go masonry. Also, this will give us access to ancient walls and the battering ram, which is kind of crucial for going after a city siege, especially early on early on in the game. So that'll be good. Uh, yeah, you guys got to get out the way. You guys got to go. Okay, well, I, I just need to get back home, probably. Use my recon units to get back home. I don't have any promotions just yet. Hey, England, help us out. 
You have no idea how happy I was to see that the dog didn't die when my scouts died. When I first saw that, I was so happy because I, like, way more happy than I should have been. So I've got, I could build it. Okay, this is going to be kind of interesting because I can build a trader. I don't need another builder for a while. We need to get an amenity up soon. That's for sure. Or should I be going units here? Trader is not smart because I don't have an easy trade route. Any, well, with the city state I do, but that's about it. Probably a settler, to be honest. This is going to kill one population inside of our inside of our capital, but let's go ahead and do it. Let's get the kill, and let's take out this barbarian encampment too, so that we're not distracted by barbarians. There we go. Okay, well that spearman is probably going to go back and, and protect it, but whatever, whatevs, it's fine. And I hope that we're safe here. I want my amenity first, though. Yeah, I'm going to go up north because more than likely this is the only barbarian encampment up here. Watch me be wrong. Watch. Watch me eat those words. I swear. Actually, I should not be staying there. Let's move over here. Because that slinger is going to come after us. Of course, he's not going to go after German or Greece. He's going to go after Germany. Okay, so I'll move closer towards you. Uh, I this is this might be a bad idea moving close with a slinger to spearmen. He's gonna mess us up if we're not careful. He'll mess us up pretty badly. Okay, here we go. As the sun is rising, we've got lots of things to do. I should probably figure out what's in the middle here. And uh, good. Okay, maybe I'll put my scouts together so they can heal. So one extra amenity sounds like a good plan. Uh, you know what else I need to do? I need to improve the truffles, the crabs, the crabs, I think, do we get, uh, I don't know if we get housing for improving truffles. I know we do when we improve the crabs. We're going to find out right now. Because building farms early on is, is pretty important. You actually want to build farms, go out of your way to build farms because you need that extra housing. Because you don't really get extra housing buildings like the aqueduct or like the neighborhoods until kind of late game. So, tile improvements is kind of one of the only ways to increase housing but it's all good we're building a settler so we're gonna kill some population well we're not really killing them but you know what I'm saying so let's hope that no other barbarians come around us but we've got our 45 gold which is nice and then bam there we go military tradition boosted boosted that's exactly what we needed to be boosted all right please leave us alone slinger slinger just sounds like a drug term to me I guess that matches the channel but <laughs> Cause th that's what they that's what they do. Okay, we do get housing from this, and we're getting gold, which kind of sucks. Like I don't really like that, but whatever. Uh, you are wise to leave our neighboring city state to us. You know it's weird. I actually have not seen any city states to close to Greece. I mean, um, unless there's one down here, which is likely there is, but I haven't I haven't met him. I did not meet him. Nice promotion available. Perfect. Combat strength versus melee and range units. Combat strength when defending against range attacks. Now, Lisbon probably won't have a bombardment if we go to war with them early enough. So, I'm going to assume... And we still might be facing slingers or archers, but I'm going to go battle cry. So we can fight through their units a little bit better. And then let's just try to get home. Okay, well this is a very weak warrior. That's good. Maybe you sit there and heal. Maybe that's what we should do. Good, you got a promotion too. Very nice. Uh, combat strength win. No, occupy in a district or fort. Nope, don't like that one. I like volley. Range strength versus land units. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get ourselves another amenity since we're about, we're about to settle another city. We need as many amenities as possible. Actually, I can improve this, right? Yeah, I went down sailing. I'm pretty sure I should be able to improve this. So I'm seeing a builder and a warrior. One interesting thing is the old Civ 5 strategy of stealing workers is no longer viable because builders are gone instantly. I mean, you probably could still do it, but it's not as easy as just going to war and peacing out with them. You can't, you can't do that anymore. Okay, you sit there and heal. And uh, we'll kind of take you back so you can escort the settler. And we're going to settle another coastal city, that's for sure. So you guys, yeah, stay here and heal. It's all good. Take your time. And I, I guess we'll kind of figure out what's going on in the northwest. Okay, so I'm going to head back down south, and we need to come here. Let's build our uh, our fishing boats. 
This also gives us extra production. How is this looking, actually? Yeah, there you go. Extra production for the fishing boat. Why are we not working this? Oh, well, now we'll work. I, th I bet you we'd start working it now. So I'm going to lock these three down. Didn't mean to lock that one down. There we go. Perfect. And we'll lock this one. And then I think the last move we'll do... Uh, I could improve the rice. I, on the top of my head, that gives more food yield, right? Yeah, I want more food yield for improving rice over improving stone. Stone Improving stone gives more production. And that's nice, but I, I want more food in the very beginning. So, archery, definitely. That way we can upgrade our slinger. We're going to need a lot of archers to be able to do this. I might go after and... and should we build another slinger inside of the capital and then upgrade two to archers? Good, good, good. They're still facing barbarians, it looks like. So, just distraction. Distraction, baby. Obviously, that guy's probably going to heal, but, you know, it's fine. Let's defend. We need to have something stay. Well, the, the warrior will stay back and defend the, the capital since we do have improvements that they could pillage. And I hate that. That's That's so frustrating. When I got out of Builder early on, when I, you know, whenever you get out of Builder early on and you waste one of your, your action points to get, what are you doing? What are you doing, dude? Don't do it. Well, the truffles were fine. Actually, we're fine. Okay. We're, we're fine for now. Uh, okay, perfect. So I can come here and then we can do this and then boom, escort. Escort time, baby. Okay, we need craftsmen. Oh, I didn't improve this still. I'm, I can't. I don't think I can wait any longer. I mean, do I need any of this? Great profit? I definitely don't need that. I wouldn't mind great scientist points, but I won't even be able to use this if I don't have the government. So it really it really doesn't matter. Let's just go craftsman. I tried to boost it, but these, these settlers kind of came out of nowhere. Kind of stopped me from that. Still, we cannot do a trader. No, uh, I think building, we're fine. We only have four citizens anyways. And, uh... Yeah, let's go with the slinger. Three turns. Bef oh, that's going to be upgraded to an archer. Well, let's get it out anyways. I can conserve some of the money. I could just buy a unit. It's fine. Alright, these... Yeah, yeah. you you guys got to go. I'm not about this barbarian scout life. This is going to improve our relationship with America. I'm going to accept this for now. He... Because at least we'll have like a little bit of positive points... Before we take out a city-state? I don't know. Okay, these barbarians are going to be a problem. Um, I can't... Oh, I can. Well, I'd have to move this guy. Nope, 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 nope. Just do the escort. Just do the escort. You know what? If we can pass straight through Lisbon's territory, that is exactly what we'll do. Uh, I will attack you, and the builder's just going to have to chill for a little bit. Just chill for a second because I, I got way too much on my mind right now. Actually, just pass on your turn. And I'll bring up some... I'll bring up some scouts. If, if you're down, there's definitely a barbarian encampment somewhere around here that I I haven't been able to take down. Okay, so this is good. We're off to a good start. We're going to settle someplace over here, hopefully coastal, with some extra amenities. And uh, we'll be able to sandwich Lisbon. Bam. Just sandwich right in between. That'll be nice. Anyways, guys, we'll see what happens. I think we're definitely off to a pretty good start. I don't know what is going to go down after our war with the city-state, but uh, we should be able to take care of these barbarians that are approaching, and uh, we'll see what happens from there. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.